Hello, buddy. I can eat the ears. <laughs> There's a horse stick? Oh yeah, dude. You'll see it. You'll see it. Don't worry, it's on a loop. Is it literally just that? Yeah. The song. Dude, the song's so amazing. No, I'm talking about like, fucking 10 second loop. 10 hour loop. No, I meant it's the same 10 second clip. 10 hours. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> well, first off, this was found on YouTube. Second off, <laughs> they blur out the dead. Yeah, it, I mean, they blur it out. So, therefore, it's, it's perfectly fine to use it. Okay. I give it. <laughs> <clears throat> So, uh, Crowder does, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, oh, age restricted or not. <coughs> so they do this whole age restricted or not skit, uh, bit about shit on YouTube. You know, you have to guess, is it age restricted or not? And I don't think is, this one is. Probably isn't, because the fact that it's blurred. <laughs> I love how the dick is pointed at you. Funny. <laughs> that's See, not lemonade, you, you, that's horse piss. I mean, that was wrong with that bottle. It's a girthy boy. Yeah. <laughs> There's something wrong with us. We're discussing horse genitalia <laughs> and coral. Good with, this, with this song, it could be like fucking the latest. The song is basically mentally fucking retarded. I mean, you could just throw on AOC. <laughs> <clears throat> I can nah. I can feel the disappointment through the masks. <laughs> yeah, kind of eliminates my peripherals, but makes everything fit better. Oh, you think I got peripherals, bro? You don't have shit. I have a very narrow straight vision right now. I mean, I have. Don't don't be fooled by this. If you're right here, I can't see you. Yeah, don't be fooled by this right here. They're sunken in, so, you know, if I look this way, I see the mask. If I see, if I look down, I see this. Uh, if I look up, I can see the tiles a little bit. Uh, and if I look, they are all over the place, so. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Yeah. It, was, it was a dark and stormy night. And there was a dog standing there wondering what the fuck you were. Mmm, sweet lemonade, sweet, sweet lemonade. <laughs> Who's at 30? Hey, come on, buddy. <laughs> oh, fuck. This will be the Halloween special. <laughs> that horse and carriage is empty. Are you really just like picking apart the background video right now? A little bit. <laughs> I'm just curious. It'd be more ASMR and cool if they just had like horses trotting down until you could hear the horseshoes click clacking off the concrete. That shit just gets me. Ugh. I don't know why. <laughs> Are you a. Uh... What animal that has ears that bone that has bone like that? I don't fucking know. 
What animal skull? Are you just like an albino dog with fucking like a really really bad case of mange? I think that's what it is. The bad I'm, I'm fucking looking at my screen like I can see a reflection. <laughs> <laughs> you still haven't got that fixed. No, that's two hundred fucking dollars. I'm not gonna. I can afford. I'm just not gonna fucking spend it on that. I figure you just choose for option like A, which was snort smelling salts, and then rip it and just get a new phone. <laughs> I thought about it. Yeah, they can fucking add in bells, but they can't add add in click clock fucking horse track shoes bullshit. You don't you don't hear leaves falling either. No, you don't hear the rustling of the leaves. And the amount of candles they use for all these jack lanterns, and right next to hay and grass, that's very fucking dangerous. But fall is usually fall is usually really wet, so I don't see a single fucking puddle. Yeah, hey, but the pavement is glazed over. That indicates moisture. I don't. The see fact the... that everything's like really green and lush. Yeah, it's not like it's fucking dead grass. Yeah, but look over towards you. What? The bales of hay. <laughs> hay just smolders, dude. Smolders and you get fucking heat? Yeah, over the course of like 14 hours. I'm, yeah, it's also going to be really fucking smoky. And going to be kind of hard to breathe. I can't breathe. This is nowhere near big enough. What do you expect for eight bucks? There's the click clack. Dude, you were just complaining about that. So, yeah, yeah, I just heard it. See? The click oh, now it's got pumpkins. The click click clack's been there this whole time, Dick. No, it hasn't. Yes, it has. No. Nope. You are on drugs. This is a fact. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> it's like you're looking into your soul. I'm trying to figure out the animal. No, no, it's it, it, it rests right here. So I have all the rest of this. Right. Just one hundred percent, though. The whole reason why that's probably there is for shipping. More than likely, so you can stack a bunch of them on top of each other, and they don't crack down the middle. Yeah, or they don't get suctioned together. I mean, yeah, because then you got to rip them apart, and then you risk them breaking. So that's why you get to charge a premium over like a three dollar mask. Yeah. Or a really poorly taxidermied fox. I don't know. <laughs> I've seen fox teeth and they don't look like this. I don't even fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what that is? A demon. My fucking beard hair. Uh -huh. Gets caught on these. Sure does. Feels lovely. Hot diggity dog. I'm keeping the cloak on. <laughs> can't wear the mask, man. That thing's gonna rip out my beard. That brings me back in the day. I worked at Bob Evans, dude. They dressed up as fucking uh, their, their mascots. You know Bob Evans' mascots are? Mm. You have two dogs. Biscuit and Gravy. So it was a full dog costume. I was Gravy. I was a colored dog. I feel like that thing would be cooler if it was a different color and not a shittily painted white. Which? What thing? That? Yeah. Like. Alright, for a small meager request of five likes we'll put a layer of high gloss on it and it'll probably look way better oh yeah yeah i you, mean you can probably pencil in some you know uh detail to it just give it a little bit more shadowing yeah i mean definitely go over it again with white you can see the fucking brush strokes yeah the only thing good about that really is okay it has a shape and it has texture you can work with the texture great really? blank blank canvas you can do cool things with it, like you can paint it, put lights on it. You can paint it like a rainbow if you so please. Why has it got to be a rainbow? Because I see all colors. <laughs> Rub it in, why don't you? <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> I bet you're one of those people that you can look at a stoplight and know what it is without judging the traffic flow. Only if I'm not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're doing the, like the half shoulder little fucking technique. But yes. What is this Attack on Titan? I I fucking love that anime. Haven't got into it yet. <clears throat> I'd like to, but every time I do, I just okay. So this is gonna sound petty as fuck, but 
anytime I try to get into it, I just don't find the English dub right away. And then I'm like, well. But there is. Oh, it looks badass. Dude. It is fucking amazing. Watch the sub. Watch the sub. It's just, it's even better than the dub. You don't lose things in translation and context. You still lose it in translation. You, you, just because it's... Okay. All right. You still lose translation from one language to another because of slurs and other things. 100%. So I can't speak fluent Japanese. I don't know if you can, but how do you know nothing's lost? Because you're hearing it in Japanese and then all you're seeing is the English word set out. Brody, I'm doing babble for Japanese right now. I thought about doing um, Duolingo because they partnered with TV Tokyo and you could get your favorite anime characters to fucking teach you Japanese. Are you fucking kidding me? You're goddamn want, right. I want Yoroichi to teach me Japanese. I get fucked up like by various things. So I get a lot of various random spurts of time off. Like earlier this year, I set my face on fire. So I was off for about a month or two. Yeah. I double dislocated my pinky and <laughs> a few a few months ago. It's like been it's been covered. We have lineage of this on the podcast. Yeah. Good so, times. That's so funny. I just thought about that. I'm like It's my most reoccurring guest. <laughs> <laughs> Best friend. Like <laughs> I have so many hours. Are you fucking... Is that really... (laughs) I thought it broke. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I thought it broke too. I was like, oh "Oh, man. Nope. Not lasted. Tight, you know. Tight. Tight, tight, just a little bow tie. I mean, the knot held. I I just didn't (laughs) do it right. That's all. I just like to look like I'm 12. Tight and bow tie. Yeah, exactly. I don't know how to tie my shoes very well. Tie my tennis shoes one time. And then they stay that way. And occasionally, once every six months, I might have to tie them again. Because I ain't running them, bitches. Why do I need to tie them tight? The only thing I tie tight is my work boots. I tie those things tight as fuck. And then I use 72 inch boot string. So by the time I'm all the way up, I have enough to go around it double. And then do a square knot. You gotta keep your ankles stiff on a job site. It's plenty of uneven things. Don't want to be rolling around tripping and bang your head on a fucking eye beam and kill yourself. I have the same philosophy when I'm out snowboarding. Yeah, I wouldn't want that thing flying off my feet if I'm depending on it. You know, that is the most valid point ever. <laughs> and let's not forget, <laughs> mountains aren't always known for nice, even terrain. Yeah. And there have been multiple times I've been riding and you just fucking the entire time I want my buck my fucking boots tight yeah you want to be able to feel it mm-hmm. you can react mm-hmm. get used to the feeling you're like alright is this good is this bad is this, am I hitting rocks and ice or am I hitting fucking powder whatever it is you know I've also <laughs> I've also you know played fun games on the mountain called dodge the kitty cat and I don't mean a mountain lion so you take a domestic house cat no or I'm talking the snow kitties oh the children no the snow cats what the ski resorts use to move the snow and groom oh. uh, because it's, since I was a lift operator I was going down early in the morning to prepare my lifts and there were uh, multiple <laughs> occasions where it just fucking dumped powder and we'd be uh, riding down and lift operations and grooming work on the same channel but they don't always announce where they're fucking grooming at and so sometimes you'll be riding through rough fucking terrain and then you just get to these nice little groomies and you're just sitting there you're like well we're gonna run into a kitty cat along the way (laughs) and the worst thing to do is fucking fall or stop or anything because those kitty cats are fucking massive. Yeah, they're big old snow plows. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Good snow plows and then what is, what is grooming the mountain? Grooming? Yeah. So these snow cats, but like they have these giant fucking plows on the front. But like, and then on the back, 
they have these um these tillers that are remote operated yeah and so they give you that nice corduroy groom behind them and they're tat they have the uh snow tracks on them they're fucking massive <laughs> yeah see those things <laughs> playing dodge the kitty so much fun at fucking 6 45 in the morning i've been told and i've met over the years many many, many uh, is that jackson groomers. hole that have groomed everywhere, and they say this is the toughest hill to groom in the country. This mountain I can is fucking like understand why. The I think amount that's Jackson of maintenance Hall. that it requires huh? for the lift Jackson to Hall, for the general public to get up, the maintenance required is amazing. Look at that. Seamless oh, corduroy. So cool. 80 mile an hour. Oh, it's so fucking. That's what we should do. Mm. You can't leave ridges, you can't leave holes, you can't. Oh, leave you know what that. Mm. No need to get more. I get what I got, and that's good. The morning a.m. shift starts at 12:30 and goes till opening. The other shift starts at 4:30 when they close the lift and goes till we come in. It takes a lot of getting used to. It's a lot easier when you're uh, a lot younger than I am, actually. <laughs> yeah. I'm 12:30 uh, a.m. to 8:30 a.m. Get off at 8:30 and you're right there at the mountain when it opens at nine. It's cool to go hit your own runs that you did, ski your own corduroy. There's so much more to it than people think. It takes years to become a good groomer. It really and you does. Never quit learning. 27 years and if you're a bad up. groomer, you get made fun of by lift ops. And then if you're a groomer who's a dick, nine times out of ten, we're lift ops will applaud you for being a dick. That's probably one of my funnest parts of the job is being up there when it's 50, 60, 70 miles an hour and you're expected to go up there to do it, to do your job, to leave the corduroy or to dig out the lift. Ski Patrol's got to be there in the morning, so we get to go up there and clear it out all night. That's one of the most amazing things. A winch cat is Knew a specialized it. snow cat that's used yeah. when the terrain oh. the Wyoming. steepness requires the mm -hmm. assistance, both going uphill and downhill of the winch. We use various kinds of winch cat anchors. Some of the anchors are natural. Other winch cat anchors are drilled into the rocks here with five winches a night. It's a, a, a pretty stout winch program, and in the lower 48, there's really nothing like it. There's definitely a pride in the, the corduroy that you leave being a skier. You, even if you can't ski the next day, you know how it's going to ski. Can't anymore. ski the next day? What are yeah, you, a pussy? Pride. It's a great feeling to know that that looks that good, and you did it, you know, and everybody's going to love skiing it that day. Yeah, it gets in your blood. Um, grooming does. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't groom. I'd go crazy. <laughs> well, that was rather informative. I had no idea. It was pretty freaking dope. It does look really good. Mm -hmm. Now, imagine your first snowboard run in the morning when, right. when you're going to set up your lift and you have shit that's not groomed yet. And so you're going, doo -doo 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 -doo. and then you get these nice little three, four foot drops, uh, which really feel wonderful on the knees. Absolutely feel great.